Welcome to the Tom Matt Show. You are walking through the front door of the retirement zone. And now, your host, Tom Matt. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to this week's show of what we call the Tom Matt Show. Last week, Matt Johnson, the president of On Target Living, was here. Such a great interview with Matt. Known Matt for a long, long time. Know his dad very, very well, Chris Johnson. A lot of you know On Target Living. And Matt has taken over the company, and he's redoing so many different things. And the young man is just, he's got it going on. He's solid, so you want to check that one out. And Matt will probably become a regular on the show because he's just so good and um, just drilled it. It's one of those performance living kind of falls into that category. Please check that one out. That was Matt Johnson. Easy is never the answer, as I called that one. And you know how to find all that stuff on the website, TomMattShow.com. Today, we're going to do a DIY show. Do it yourself, although I don't do it myself anymore because this is how I met my guests because I don't do ladder work anymore. I did so much ladder work at the university and climbing around in ladders. Just FYI to everybody, ladder injuries in homes are the number one cause of serious injuries in the home. I learned that at Michigan State through my ladder training because we do all kinds of certifications and trainings. And so I had a problem with a light on my peak of my garage that I needed to get fixed. And so I got a hold of Mr. Electric. And we're calling today's episode Mr. Electric. This is an episode for you if you've ever thought about upgrading your electrical service, having somebody help you figure this stuff out, finding an electrician, getting people you can trust, getting the right cost. Mid-State Electric, Mr. Electric, they have two titles. Mid-State's the big corporate sort of thing. And, um, commercial side of things. Mr. Electric is more of the residential. The way they do things, the way they lay it out, I was so impressed with with the whole setup. We're going to talk about it all because they did us right. And so we'll talk about the whole thing here. Let me get Jack's bio going for you and then we'll bring him in here and we'll talk about this. Jack Warner, electrician for 25 years. God bless him. Love electricians. I loved electricians at the university so much because they do all the hard work. <laughs> I'm the low voltage guy. I'm the low voltage guy who they do all the hard work, put the pipe in place for us to the cable trays and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to bore you with the details. Jack knows exactly what I'm talking about, but we fill the pipe up. They do all the hard work. We get to come in and look good. <laughs> That's yep, how it works with yep. low voltage. But he's been with the same owner for 25 years. So God bless him on that. Mid-state electric, Mr. Electric. He's been in the service side for 17 of those years. You know, you got to be a journeyman. You got to learn this stuff. We'll talk about training too for young people. If you want to get into electrical business, this is a great, a great trade, men and women. Been married for 25 years. Congratulations on that. To uh, Michelle, and they have three children, Jared, Jasmine, and Jocelyn. When he's not with his family, he's out in the woods. I, I kind of knew this, sort of kind of just getting around Jack and talking to him, <laughs> that he's out in the woods, like shooting things and hunting things and fishing things. And Because, you know, and I may even have to have him back as a hunter, non hunter episode with me because. As lots of you know out there, I am the non-hunter with all my hunter friends. And here we go. I got another new hunter fisher friend. He enjoys yep. working with his team. The thing that I really was admiring with Jack was he had a, a young crew and he was very, very, very conscientious leader. And I'm going to let him talk about his family and do all these things and talking about upgrades to your home environment and your power because nowadays this is vitally, vitally important. I want to welcome him to the show for the first time. Mr. Electric Man, Jack Warner. Jack, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time, brother. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Great. Okay. Thank you. It, it's it's it's. Uh, I've been looking forward to talking to you more about this stuff. We talked about it during the uh, walkthrough with what you did. But before we start getting into that whole big thing and how and what you proposed at the house, because we're going to tell everybody what you guys, how you, how this all came to be and how I was so grateful to you for pointing out that I knew we had power problems in this house. This house was built in the fifties, but that that's coming later in the show. Everybody just kind of warming things up. I'd like Jack to kind of talk about him, his family, let him get warmed up and sort of paint the picture of where we're going to go with his first episode. So go ahead, Jack, please talk about, this is your life. You, uh, where you went to school, where you grew up, your family, your wife, your kids, everybody likes to hear their name on radio and podcast. So go right ahead. It's your, this is your segment. Go ahead. Well, hey, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, Jack Warner. I uh, grew up and went to school in Farwell, Michigan. It's central Michigan, Claire, Mount Pleasant area. Did several things, concrete, worked in lumber yard and stuff out of high school and stuff. And uh, actually, I met my buddy that we worked in 
in the lumber yard for, for a couple of years. And I met him in a bar one night and said, Hey, you guys hiring. And, um, uh, I was working at concrete at the time. And, uh, he says, yeah, coming up. So I called, uh, I called every week for three or four months. And, uh, finally I said, yep, come on in. And, you know, I never had an interview or nothing. I came right to work and, and, uh, got right after it. So, I uh, started dating my wife uh, out of high school. Um, she graduated 99. We shortly got her 97. We got married in 99. And uh, yeah, three kids. Everything's going great. How old are your children? My my boy's 22. My daughter's uh, 19 and 16. So you're still going through all that. I get oh, all I, that for sure. Yeah. yeah. Then we homeschool our kids. So my wife's really busy too. And uh, everything's going good. That's, that's awesome, man. We have one of our, uh, one of our sponsors, one of my really, really good friends, Craig Stiles, who's our financial fitness guru on the show and all this kind of stuff. He homeschooled while well, his wife did. He, <laughs> you gotta give <laughs> exactly. credit, give credit where credit is due here. Exactly. But, but exactly. when we talk about this a lot about the homeschooling with the kids, because they, uh, they have 11 children and they homeschooled them all. And so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the whole thing. So talk about a little bit with um, Mr. Electric Midstate and how you got into the trade just to start people off, you know, because we want to talk about training and young people as yep. we go through the yep. show. How did that happen for you? So, like I said, I got hired in on the Midstate side. I, I learned on a commercial doing uh, hotels and restaurants and so forth. Kind of cut my teeth in that. I, I, I made foreman before I actually had a license. Um, back then, you didn't have to have to take a class so i learned on the job but today you know you got to have our hours and then take a test which i had to to become a journeyman but today you got to take a, a, a online classes too so there's a little bit more to it nowadays but uh i think it's once a week i think is what the a new person has to go do some on, online training or something like that but other than that i mean it's a good good trade everything's changing technology's changing um, these homes are getting older. Yeah, average house is in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Um, it, it needs some maintenance. So things things are things are going good. Well, when you talk about the journeyman test and the classes, I mean there's a commitment there, but you can get some on the job training and get paid and you don't have to and it's just no slam against higher ed because as everyone knows, I'm a huge proponent of higher education being at the university as long as I have, and I still do a lot of work out there. But for some people, young people, men and women, girls and boys, it might be the way to go, right? I mean, we got a minute to go before we go to break here. Talk about that for just a sec. Would you please, Jack, about the possibilities for young people coming into your trade? Yeah. So, uh, and I, I've talked to several young people over the summer. Um, a couple of people, young kids just graduating, stopped in to, to see what's going on and find out about the trade. And it, it's a boom and technology changing. We're always going to need electricians. Robots can't do our job, you know. So, um, and it's always changing. So, uh, you just got to get in and make a decision that you want to do it. And uh, it's a good career. Uh, it's sky's the limit. Uh, I I totally agree. And the thing about physical trades, everybody, and for the young people, Jack, I'm going to carry this through because we're going to go to break here in about 30 seconds. The physical trades will keep you employed and keep you making money. And artificial intelligence, which is here and coming and going to get more robust as time goes on, will never eliminate the need for somebody to run a piece of conduit. There's just no way. I mean, they might they might be able to check the drawings. They might be able to check for imperfections, in it, which is great. It's a good augmentation. But you really need to have the hands-on people out there. And when we come back from break, we'll talk to Jack Warner, Mr. Electric, talking about... How much can you make? What's the wages like? What is the starting cost like? All of these things. And then we'll get into the big project of what happened at Little House Lansing, where Jack Warner, Mr. Electric, came in here and took care of business. Let me tell you that right now. You're listening to the Tom Mansion. This segment of the Tom Mansion Show is brought to you in part by the Source of Light and Power by band leader Archibald and broadcaster Mitch Anderson. Hear the sound that is endorsed by Odyssey headphones, linear tube audio, RME converters, and Peluso microphones at sourceoflightandpower.bandcamp.com.
Welcome to the Tom Matt Show. Welcome back, everybody, to the Tom Matt Show. This week featuring Mr. Electric Jack Warner, foreman for a job that did uh, that he did over at our home at Little House Lansing. Big, big, big job. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But before we go there, got to gotta pay some bills and got to give some credit to people who help us financially. Craig Stiles, Craig, 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 our financial advisor and full disclosure. Craig has all of our refirement zone savings, all of it, taking care of it. Never worry about it. Sandy and I were just talking about this the other day. I never sweat it. I never worry about any of that kind of stuff because I want to do this. I want to, I want to build our business. I want to do my work at the university. I I got, I got other things that I'm good at. And when it comes to the financial fitness, it ain't my gig. It ain't my gig whatsoever. Craig Styles, that's his gig. Ameriprise Financial Advisor, Craig Styles, great company. He can help you with the, with the life you want today and well into the future like he is doing for us. Give him a shout. He's had lots of people from the university call him who have always been very happy with him. I want to say hello to Billy Coast. You know, I saw I saw a mutual friend today, Rick, and I know Billy Coast is with Ameriprise through Craig. He heard the show years and years ago. Billy Coast has been a longtime fan of the show, and I appreciate that very much. He's a testament to all this. With the right financial advisor, your life can be brilliant. Call Craig, 1-800-528-1355. Local number is 483-4853. His email is craig.styles at ampf.com. Offices are located at the new location, 2651 Coolidge Road, Suite 103 in East Lansing, Michigan, home of the Spartans, 48823. That's all, it's all good when you get in a new office like that. Stations that have carried us in the past, carry us now. The Michigan Talk Network, of course, with Stephen Ivy Gruber, blasting us all over the syndication, all over the state, all over the Midwest. It's greatness there. We have independents that have carried us. We have stations that carry us now. It didn't carry us before. I always like to acknowledge stations that carried us. It doesn't matter because I appreciate it. I'm very, very grateful for us getting a break, especially from the first station to ever carry us on broadcast radio, WGHN. 92.1 in Grand Haven, Michigan, carried us for the long, long time. WGIM 1240 AM in Lansing is the big stick. They are the flagship of the Michigan Talk Network. WGRW 1340 in Grand Rapids. WKLQ 1490 Muskegon Whitehall. There's a bunch of stations all over the place in these independents and uh, and, and independents that are out there. WYPV FM 94.5 Mackinac City. And, of course, last but not least, Sundays at 5, WKAR at Michigan State University, AM 870, our PBS affiliate, and simulcast on 102.3 FM. Thanks again to Craig Styles for creating Desideri Analytics. You are the way we're going with Desideri. We are making light of weighted decisions. That's it. We have four books on Amazon, and you can find that over there. Today, Mr. Electric Jack Warner's with us. Before we get into the story of how I met Jack and I've told that just a tiny bit so far. I want to just uh, touch on because we'd like to help young people as much as possible with this radio program, encourage and parents as well, encourage uh, our young people. Maybe if you're doing a transition in your job and you've just saying I'm, you know, 30 or 40 or maybe even 50 years old and you want to get a different career. There's, it's never too late. Everybody's never too late. So Jack, let's talk about that with uh, the journeyman test and the young people that are coming in here. What can people expect during their journeyman and then possibly after they have their journeyman in, in, in wages? What Can we start there, please? Yeah, sure. Um, a lot of it's going to depend on, on where you go and what company, you know, if you're union or non-union. And, and that has its benefits and stuff, too, and we probably don't want to go to later. But um, a lot of it depends on company. And, and I find just hard work and work ethic. You can go anywhere you want to go. A little desire, determination. Um, you know, you, you work your way up. So you're going to start at the bottom and, and, you know, you might make, I don't know, depending on a company, 20, 22 bucks an hour, but you work your way up, you know, and, and, uh, electrician's a good field. Electrician's a great field. And that's not chump change. What's a top end, what's a top end electrician make now? I mean, just in, in general, you don't have to tell me how much you, you declared on your taxes last year, but I mean, unless you want to, but it's like, I mean, what is that? What's the high end? You know. I, I, again, it depends on company, but you know, here we pay a lot of commission depending on the work you do. So, you know, 80,000, we got a guy made 80,000 last year. Yeah. Um, a hundred thousand is not, not out of the question. Six figures. It, it, it just really kind of depends on, on, uh, on the person. 
You know, it's it's unique, and this kind of leads us into the story of where you helped us. And uh, let me recap this real quick. Jack Warner's our guest today, everybody. Mr. Electric. Jack was the foreman for a job that we had done here at, at uh, Little House. And you know how I like to promote. When we get services done or I, or I subscribe to something or I utilize services and it works and it's going really well, I want to promote them. So that whole thought process, Jack, when we were, when we were talking about all this, um, your knowledge of how we got going on all of this and the way you you propose things. I mean, six figures for electrician, 80 grand. The, 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 the way you have it set up with a commission plus wages is unique. Kind of like the way you guys do the, um, the walkthrough and the inspection thing. Let's start there because your uniqueness is what caught my eye being at the university and knowing so much about skilled trades. I was very, very, um, happy to meet you because I knew we needed serious help with our electrical work in this house. And Sandy was always worried about the safety issues of the fires and all this kind of stuff. But um, talk about that, that the first visit over here when you came over and just get things started on the normal procedure of what people can expect. Say they're, they, you come over for a repair like you did for us. Please go ahead. Take it from there. Take, talk about the, our story and a little bit what you guys, what you saw when you came over here. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're big on safety. Um, I come over there, as you said, to do your grad light. I could have done your light for whatever, 300 bucks or whatever, and walked out the door, and we could have never had this conversation, but done with it. But our we want that uh, relationship with the customer. Um, we want to build trust and, and all that stuff, too. But we go through your house and do a home safety inspection, no charge. Um, we're all about safety. So as we said, 1970s, most average houses are built and nobody gets electrical maintenance done. So a lot of this electrical stuff's going bad. And uh, we want to go through the house and code changes every few years. So we want to make sure it's up to code and uh, and safe. And we, we let you guys know we, that's what you and I had that conversation. We, we let you know how your house is setting. There was no pressure, right? I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't a used car salesman trying Not to sell stuff. I said, Hey, look, Tom, this is, this is what I found. Um, this is what needs to be done to make your house safe. Where do you want to go? How do you want to proceed? Jack, I'm going to carry this through because I'm going to come up to break here, but pretty much how it worked, everybody, we had the meeting, we, he, they repaired the, uh, the light on the peak of the garage. And this is right at the very top of the peak of the garage. So I don't mind paying a pro to do this work. When we come back, everybody, I want to continue the story of what and how this evolved, what Jack found, because this house, as Jack's been saying, you know, maybe 60s and 70s, a lot of houses are built. This home, Little House Lansing, was built in the 50s, the early 50s. So this house is even older than that. And the electrical service had been, they had done a few things around here, but for the most part, it was cobble, 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 baby. It's like turkey hunting out there. Cobble, cobble, cobble. And we just didn't, I mean, tripping breakers, doing all kinds of crazy. Turn it on a blow dryer and turn it on something else. And all of a sudden, I'm flipping breakers like crazy. That's not good. We come back, we'll talk more about this. Jack Warner's here calling this show Mr. Electric. This is the Tom Manchin. Thank you again to our segment two sponsor, Craig Stiles of Ameriprise Financial. For more information on services provided by Craig, please visit AmeriprizeAdvisors.com slash Craig.Stiles or by calling 517-483-4893. You're tuned in to The Tom Matt Show. Welcome to The Tom Matt Show. Third segment of The Tom Matt Show is sponsored by Kingpin, Jamie, 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 White Law, White Law is, they're awesome. Christine, awesome. The whole crew over there, Stephanie, awesome. White Law PLLC in Lansing, where justice meets compassion, is our law talk sponsor, subject matter expert. They help us. We help them. You, They'll help you. That's the bottom line with all of this. White Law is your advocate and our advocate in times of need. They are there to listen, support, and fight for what you deserve, always. And that's the thing about Jamie. And I, let me, here's the thing for my sponsors that are out there, you can easily do your own due diligence and listen to podcasts with my sponsors. Craig's got like 25, Brock Fletcher, a real estate 
Reality Real Estate's got, I don't know, 18. And now we have Jamie, Jamie, Jamie of White Law, and he'll be soon doing his third episode. And we're going to continue to do more of these episodes. So you can go kind of do a quick virtual interview with them without even having to call them or calling it or going to the website. But let me tell you something. You can contact White Law for a free, free, free consultation. And I'm saying free. Did I say free? Visit us at whitelawpllc.com or call 517-777-9785. That's 517-777-9785. You can always go to our website, tomatshow.com, bottom of the homepage. That's where you find our sponsors and other friends that we help. They will click right through to their sites and away you go. But Jamie's a bomb. And if you, if you don't know Jamie, listen to that first episode that he was on the show. You'll find it. It's easy. He's a big MSU guy. It's in the, in the Spartan sagas area. Cause we haven't moved it over to the law, the law talk yet, but it will be soon. Listen to that episode and you'll hear the whole story of why Jamie got into the law business. And it's a very touching. I had no idea he was going to talk about these things. It made him so real to me. We instantly, we already knew each other a little bit, but made us buddies and really, really tight. I admire the guy so much, and he's just a good guy, with a good parent, good husband, and that's what the way everybody rolls. Just like my guest today, Jack Warner, who was the foreman on our job here at Little House, and he just started the thread of telling us how and why Jack and Mr. Electric, I hired them to come over and help us with a quick repair. So, Jack, now we're doing the inspection, the free inspection, and you have this great the, the, the format that Mr. Electric has set up, the electrical home safety check form, you go through the whole, it doesn't cost a dime. And I can see where some people might think, oh, oh here comes the upsell. Here comes the upsell. Well, me being, knowing that we needed help with our electrical and me being a former skilled tradesperson, I'm listening to you intently. And I did not feel any pressure whatsoever from you guys. You were just giving me straight story. You were just reinforcing what I already knew. So let's start from there. Talk about my job. And what you did at our house and what you found. And then the other things that after, as we started talking, I said, well, by the way, if you're going to be doing that, we're going to do this. But start there first. The, first, the panel and the service coming in. The, I mean, the whole thing was a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So going through your house, doing a home safety inspection. First, we looked at your service. Um, the panel, we do a panel inspection, too. And upon opening up your panel, we found uh, your whole service, your whole house is running on a 60-amp breaker. Uh, you got a 60-amp meter outside, and, yeah, that's not good. So you got you got a lot of, a lot of power there running on a 60-amp breaker. And we found some open junction boxes, open splices. We found a, a plug in the wall that didn't even have a box. You know, that's a fire hazard right there. Um, some open wires, like we said, and, and yeah, so we walked through, found everything. Um, we quote what the house needs. That's what I train my guys. I, we quote what the house needs and we leave it up to the customer. We are just telling you what the house needs. And, you know, like I said, we're, we're not pushy. We just say, Hey, this is what it needs. This is bring it up to code. How do you want to proceed? And, uh, we leave it up to you, but when we leave, you're going to know what that, what your house needs. And then you're informed. And that's the thing about making informed choices, everybody. I'm all about informed choices. And I wanted the information. And so, and Jack didn't even mention how terrible our service was coming in because we had the old three drop yeah. wire. Now, if you're wondering, everybody, what the hell I'm talking about on these older homes, Jack, tell, tell everybody, you're the electrician, tell everybody what my house had and how you guys had to coordinate with our local service provider, the Board of Water yep. and Light, to get yep. that taken care of. You guys did all of that. Yes, yes. So we, we pull the permit. We get a hold of the uh, the electric company. In your case, as board Lansing Board Water Light, and uh, because your house was so old, they had three separate wires going from their power pole from their transformer to your house, and it was just all brittle, open wire, just crumbly. And uh, power outage waiting not, to happen, wasn't it? What's that? Power outage waiting to happen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was it was in pretty bad shape. It was pretty rough. So today's. Today they put a triplex. It's it's three wires all twisted together in one. Um, much safer, much much better. So looks a lot better too. So yeah, looks looks better and it and it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that was the thing about that I was impressed with because I thought at first I would have to do all of my own, call the board, do all that stuff. But you guys, you you're all inclusive. 
please. Yeah, we we take care of that for you. Um, ease for the customer. You know, we we know what's going on. We know what the what it needs. We we pull the permit. Uh, so you get, when you pull a permit, you got to file or mark down certain things, what you're doing and stuff. So we didn't want to bother customers with that, and they don't know anyway exactly what how to fill out the permit. So we we take care of all that for you, and um, call the call the uh, board water light or the electric company and, and get that all scheduled in. You, you didn't have to do anything, right? Well, that's right. It was it was perfect, and the way it worked, everybody was. Mid-state, Mr. Electric called the Board of Water and Light, our provider, for those of you listening to the podcast in different parts of the country, whoever your local provider is, and they had to coordinate the same day so that everything is, like, tight. So it's not like you're having these gaps in service because, obviously, they're taking you out of service for a minute. So that's when Jack and your crew did the first phase, which was the um, – the, the box, the, 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 it's not a fuse box. It's a breaker box or whatever the hell you guys call it. Right. Yep. Correct. Panel. The panel. Um, so yes. Yes. Yep. Thank you. So from there, talk about that. I mean, you said 60 amp service. What did you wind up putting in for us? And there was new things that came. We'll talk about that later in the show. New things that we added to the job. Cause I'm like, well, heck, if I got the guys here, how much for this and how much for that, but let's finish the thread of the first part with the board, the service, the breaker box, the funky box I had in the garage that needed to go away that you found. Yep. I mean, yep. go ahead, please. Yeah, so as I said, code changes a lot every three years. They do an update. So March 12th, uh, we needed to put an outside disconnect outside. And then um, we put a 100 amp panel inside. So now you got a full 100 amp service coming in. That's the bare minimums uh, that we're required to do. Uh, the, the garage you pointed out, uh, that had an old fuse box, had a couple of circuits going out there, just tied, tied, to, to an old fuses. So we, we bypassed that and took that out of there, ripped the guts out. And now everything's on a, a breaker and you don't have to worry about blowing fuses and this and that anymore. And then that's exactly right here. And it was, there were problems that, because I knew there were issues, but Jack and his crew found issues that I didn't even know we had issues. I knew we, we had issues when we bought the house because the first time Sandy ever used her blow dryer and we had something on downstairs, we tripped a breaker. And it's like, well, that's got to go. So we got that resolved a what before you guys came in and got her her own dedicated circuit. But it was very apparent, very apparent that this old house needed lots of TLC. We're talking 70-year-old wire for the most part probably 80%, maybe more than that, 90% of this house is on old, what they call cloth wire. Is that right, Jack? Cloth wire? Yep. Okay. Yep. So you think if you see that in your house, everybody, and you see this cloth wire, it's it's still working, but you got to remember electricity is, you care, it's heat. It's heat running through that wire. And so you've got to understand that, I'm not trying to scare anybody, so we're just talking about safety here. And we're going to talk about that when we come back, more customer service, more safety. Because Jack is here, Jack Warner, Mr. Electric, talking about DIY projects, how you may need to improve your electrical service at your house. This is The Tom Matt Show. Thank you again to our segment three sponsor, White Law PLLC, where justice meets compassion. White Law is your advocate in times of need. We are here to listen, support, and fight for what you deserve. Contact White Law today for your free consultation. Visit us at whitelawpllc.com or call 517-777-9785. This is the Tom Matt Show. Welcome to the Tom Matt Show. I love doing shows like this. So much fun. Learning. You know what? Having a safe home, having smoke detectors, which we had the old funky battery-operated ones. We haven't even started talking about that yet. We will. But first, I got to give some. I got to give some love to Brock, 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 and Mike Deadman and the whole crew over at the selling team of Keller Williams Realty, where trust is their middle name. Trust, trust, trust. Jamie, Brock, Craig, greatness. Brock Fletcher helped us so much. Continues to help us so much. And again, full disclosure, you've heard me say this. I'm going to say it every show. He is the talent of for the reality of real estate. There's there's over 15, maybe even 20 shows there now. That's how long he's been doing this with us. Check out any of those shows. If you're in the real estate game, you're thinking about doing it, you want to interview someone without even having to make a phone call, 
check it out. Go over there, listen to a podcast, or you can call 517-853-6408 is the office number. The, the key number is the cell phone number, Brock's cell phone number, 517-303-3262, or go online to kwsellingteam.com, kwsellingteam.com. And again, as I said earlier, all of our sponsors are on our website, tommatshow.com, and, our, and a couple of our friends, but our sponsors are at the first top of it, and just click on through and away you go. So Craig, financial fitness. You got Jamie, you got the law talk any type of legal help, you got his banner there. Now you got Brock Fletcher with the selling team of Keller Williams Realty there as well. Remember that most real estate agents start spending their marketing money after they get your listing. That's how they pay for their for their advertising. Brock Fletcher is, is smart. And this is the way Keller Williams does it. They invest ahead of time, like with us. They, they're already marketing way before you even meet them. They've been marketing. They're out there. They know the people. I just met a guy at the coffee shop who's another real estate guy, and I mentioned Brock Fletcher, and he's a sponsor, and he's a regular on the show. And, oh, Brock and I are best friends. You know, he's a great guy and all this. I said, man, you ain't telling me nothing I don't know. You know, Brock's the guy. And I've already told everybody the story about Mike, our former next-door neighbor, who got Brock. Brock got them, short story, real short snapshot here. Brock got them an extra 20 grand for their house, and that's a true story. I mean, I've said the story before, and so I'm not going to belabor it at this point because I want to get back to our guest today, Jack Warner, Mr. Electric. We got a lot of good things to talk about, but I want to close this with Brock and say again, call 517-303-3262 is his cell phone. You could text him, tell him you heard it from Tommy, then he'll know it's from radio, and just get over there and take care of business at the kwsellingteam.com, kwsellingteam.com. All right, Jack Warner's here, foreman for... Mr. Electric did a bunch of work at our house. Jack, we've been having a re- really nice conversation about the work you did at my home, and I'm very, very grateful to you guys. And uh, another thing I want to say about the guys, and I don't have all of the, all, I wish I would have uh, all the guys' names. I'll get them for you during break, and then I'm going to mention all their names because there were probably five of your electricians who were over here between the first part of the job and then the second part of the job. But before we get into all of the specifics of that, I want to do the high end stuff of the customer service the cost, and the safety issues. And so however you want to talk about that, Jack, that's totally up to you. Let's start with customer service and your reputation first. What? Please share, share all of that from Mr. Electric's perspective. To me, customer service is, is the uno. It's number one. It's what I preach to my guys. That's customer service. Um, we want customers for life, you know, um, if they're not calling the company and asking me directly when I was running, running roads and doing jobs, they're asking for this company, you know, um, our customer service is second to none. I've said it for years, you know, and that's where we want to be. We want top notch customer service and we want people to call us back because, um, we want, we want to take care of our people you know, we care. Referrals are the name of the game. If you can get a referral from a customer, that's gold. Cost. Let's talk about cost and your pricing of how you guys do things, because I thought it was very reasonable. We'll talk about that here in a second. But um, yeah, go ahead. Talk about cost and then fold in the safety as well. Yeah. So at Mr. Electric, we uh, we do a menu pricing guide. It's kind of like going to a McDonald's or a restaurant and ordering something off a menu. We punch in what we need as far as what the job's going to be done and it gives us a price at the end. So it doesn't matter if you live in a trailer park or a $5 million house, everybody pays the same. It's fair. It's, you know, it's upfront. We let, let, you know, before we start doing the work, you know, it doesn't matter if I um, takes me five minutes or five days to do the job. The price is the same. We give, we give quotes, not estimates. So um, any, anything we can do to add value to that, uh, that job we do too. And the safety issue that you found in this house, one of the, well, there are so many, but one of the other things we haven't discussed besides the splice points, the doubled up junctions, the, the tripled up wire, but the, um, the smoke detectors, we had no wired smoke detectors in this house whatsoever. And I don't know how many you guys put in here. I'd have to check the bill. Um, but I think there was maybe five or six that you, and this house is not that big. Please talk about the smoke, the, the wired smoke detectors. Okay, I believe 
it was five. I'd have to count two. I believe it's five. So today's code, you need one in every bedroom, outside the bedroom, one on every floor. So I know we did one upstairs, three downstairs, two bedroom, one outside your bedroom, one in the basement. So I think five, but um, you want them interconnected. Yeah, they got wireless ones. They got battery ones. But what happens if the fire starts down the basement and you're, you're upstairs sleeping? Are you going to hear that fire, that smoke alarm going off um, in the middle of the night while you're sleeping? Maybe not. So you want the, you want them all interconnected, all going off at the same time. That way you and your family can get out and get be safe you know, before something bad happens. And that's a fact. And one of my very best friends of my, my whole life was a captain in the fire department. And I've heard horror, horror stories about house fires. And I don't know what the stats are. I could probably look it up quickly. Maybe I'll do it during break about the number. Maybe you know this, Jack. Number of house fires are caused from electrical issues. Um, do, you have a, do you have a rough estimate? Because I can look that up during break. I probably should look it up. But I, I just went through this not too long ago, a few months ago. And it's extremely high. It, it, yeah. Their deaths, deaths for fire, um, it's extremely high. I'll look it up, everybody. I want to get back to you because that's important. Now, when as we're talking about moving forward, with some of the things that you can do in and for homes. I want to talk about how you and I walked through and started brainstorming and what Jack was just describing with his menu pricing, you guys, this is exactly how it worked because as, as Jack was giving me and showing me all the things in the house and believe me, I didn't, at first I was like, I got stuff to do. I really, you know, can you just talk, but he wanted to show me. And so we did. And the more that I talked to him, the more I'm like, this dude's real. He's for real. He's telling me the good stuff. I started thinking, well, heck, if I'm going to have the crew here, why don't we do some other things that I need done? So, Jack, tell about tell about some of the add-ons I kept adding. I kept adding on to the menu. It's like, well, and then you gave me the great idea about these lights in my studio. It's like, oh my gosh, it's been so great. But please, the little bit of add-ons that you and I discussed. Yes. So as uh, as we're working up the quote, I I like standing next to the customer. I don't like leaving my customers, but um, you and I are having just a great conversation. Like we're old friends and stuff and I'm working up the quote and uh, you kept bringing up a couple of things and Hey, let's go look at it. Let's go see, uh, see what you're, what you're thinking, what you got. And uh, that led us to a couple other things and then up, up to your office there and adding some, uh, some, some Wi-Fi lighting five or six can lights that that change colors and do everything that you want them to do they're so i've already showed these things off to several people you guys these things are so cool the app that they have on your phone it's so easy and it's like it's perfect because i need to have better lighting for my video stuff and so it's just a, a cool thing and um, then you did the lighting in my basement because we have we kind of live in our basement talk about that too because i got this dark, big, huge claws that I can't see diddly crap in the thing. And you did, you came up with a great idea. Please talk about that. So um, I asked you a lot of questions, right? Cause yep. I want to get, uh, I want to put in what, uh, what you want, you know? And uh, so I asked you quite a few questions, what you're looking for, what, uh, what you don't like. And uh, we come up with a solution. Uh, we put a couple eyeball trim can lights shining down into a closet area. That was pretty dark. And then we put, um, four other cans around your living area um space them out evenly where you needed the light and uh, yeah that turned out great well the, the eyeball lights everybody they're like they're like diagonal they kind of like yeah. shine down and diagonally into this closet that i have and then the um the four can lights that jack's describing in our little family room area we had virtually no ceiling lights at all we had table right. lights all over the place but Sandy likes to train in there in that work workout area. And so she's like, you know, working out down here is like working out in a, in a dark cave. And I'm like, we're going to get that fixed. And it's made a massive difference. Plus, the efficiencies of the lighting that they put in, you guys. We'll talk about this when we come back. Efficiencies. And then I'm going to come back also and talk about power recovery and electric vehicles with my buddy Jack Warner, Mr. Electric. This is the Tom Man Show. Thank you again to our segment four sponsor, Brock Fletcher, real estate agent at the selling team with Keller Williams Realty. For more information on services provided by Brock, please call his personal cell phone at 517-303-3262 or by emailing Brock at kwsellingteam.com. This is the Tom Matt Show.
Welcome to the Tom Matt Show. Welcome back, everybody, to the Tom Matt Show. Fifth segment. So you're probably catching us on WKAR or some of the other independents that carry us. Uh, for those of you in the Michigan Talk Network that are never getting this, it's like, go to the podcast, go to the website. It's easy. And you can go right to the fifth segment. Boom. We mark them off on YouTube so that you can easily find it. Um, the segments are all split up so that you can easily listen to that. It's it's a piece of cake. So, yeah, Tom Matt Show on YouTube. And you can get that or you go to our website, TomMattShow.com. All of our social media, everything. All right. Jack, how do you want people to get a hold of you guys? Please go right ahead. Yeah, so uh, Mr. Electric, uh, www.mrelectric.com online or uh, Mr. Electric of Central Michigan, P.O. Box 219, um, Mount Pleasant, Michigan, 48804. Um, phone number is 888-314-4458. And, we'll, get, uh, we'll, yeah. we'll give you guys all, did you give the website? I, I'm sorry, I was making some notes here. Yep. Yep. Okay. www.mrelectric.com. Okay, cool. Great. So, and I, all of this will be in the show notes, everybody. We'll have all that in the show notes with the description. So don't worry about all that, but, um, or, or use the phone number, whatever you want. Mr. Electric, Google it. You'll find it. I mean, they're big. They're, they're big and they got a, because they got a great service going on over there. So it's wonderful. All right. So let's talk a little bit about power recovery and electric vehicles. Now, I think maybe we'll flip that and go with electric vehicles first, Jack, because it seems like they're in the news all over the place and people wanting to charge. So just describe the process. If I was to say to you when you came to the house, because you fixed all the outdoor plugs, you fixed the um, box in my garage, you did you did work in and out of the house all over the place and got everything up to code. If I would have asked you for a plug-in, for an electric vehicle, which I did not, but if I would have, and I wanted it in the garage for se, per se, would that have been, we have power in the garage, but I don't know if that wire is capable and I don't know what you, you probably have to pull a whole new wire. And so how does that work with um, setting up a charging station in, in a residential situation? Yeah, that's, it's, that's getting big. Uh, electric vehicles are getting huge. Most people don't realize they want an electric vehicle, but they don't know what their their panel can hold. So now we're starting to uh, do load calculations just to make sure their panel can handle it. And yeah, we would have got power out to your garage. Anything's possible. We just find a way to do it, right? So uh, the wires out there would not have been big enough. We would have um, dug another trench and, and ran a uh, conduit and wire through it and then put you an outlet out there. Um, Piece of cake, no problem. Could have got it done for you. But the load calculation is a big thing. It's just all these vehicles plugging in to these old panels and stuff. People don't even realize how much load they're putting on a panel. So talk about that. When you when you say load, explain that to the listeners because they're, maybe they're not understanding what you're what you're saying. Just I know I'm gonna just keep it straightforward and simple, but kind of break that down for people that are out there that are just kind of considering all this. What does that mean? Yeah, the load is is the electricity you're using. So if you got a hundred amps and you're using eighty amps of that, you're you're using a pretty big load, you know. So most most residentials, you know, twenty or thirty, forty, maybe depending on how big their stuff is. But if you got, you know, your your dryer takes a big load, your range takes a huge load, AC units take a huge load. So you get all that stuff going at the same time. It's a big load, and then you add an EV charger on top of it. You know, your panel might be overloaded. So we do a, a load calculation just to make sure that your panel is going to gonna handle that. Is there a cost involved with that? Do you guys do that as part of the service? How do you how do you do that? No, we're going to do it. And actually, you just mentioned that uh, with a, a month or so, maybe two months ago, we just started talking about this and doing load calculations. So we're going to do load calculations for, for no charge as part of our part of our home safety inspection. See, there you go, everybody. This is again, where we're trying to save money and get you the right, get you in the right place and the right time. And um, when you guys were, when you were going through the house and at my house, I don't know what the load calculation would be by memory. Do you think you could probably give a guesstimate? I'm not going to hold you to this, but what, what would my house be, would qualify for um, electric charger? Do I have enough capacity? Is that, is, Maybe that's that's fair enough. Um, 
totally I don't remember, but do you have an AC unit? Yes. Yes, you did. Yes. You had an AC. Oh, yeah. We did surge protection, too. That's yep. huge. Um, yep. I, I think you had enough capacity. Um, but it would be close. Going off memory. It, it'd be close. Yeah, because we have a lot. Here's the thing, everybody. We have a lot of um, things that we pull in the house, although these new lights getting back to the cost of the lights and the, uh, and the uh, functionality of the lights, how long they last, they don't pull nearly the power. There's another savings for you. Correct, Jack. I mean, when you go to these new, these new, uh, led, they're leds, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Leds. Thank you. Um, cause I get confused with the LCD and leds. So the lightings, for example, everybody, that's why they're programmable. The ones that I have here in the, in the studio, they, they can go from like bright white right now. I have them set at a, like a yellow tint because of the video stuff. Super cool. Those fixtures are way more efficient, aren't they, Jack? Yes. LED lighting's way more efficient than, than the old mercury vapor, metal halite, the old incandescent light bulbs. They went to fluorescence for a while, but LED, LED is way to go. So, okay, so where I'm going with this, everybody, and again, my friend Jack Warner's here is the foreman for Mr. Electric who did all the work at our house. So say somebody's at a load capacity that's kind of close, but they got a, a bunch of old lights in their house. I mean, is it possible to kind of get back a little bit of uh, used energy so that you could reallocate that to, say, a charger or something else? Is that something that is possible? Yeah, definitely. And depending on the house, depending on how many lights you got and this and that, they, it all adds up, right? Um, you can put a 60 watt incandescent in, or you could put a, a 12 watt LED, you know, so um, you can, you can make up some ground there. Uh, uh, depending on how much it depends on how many lights you got in your house. There you go. Okay. So there's just, these are just thoughts and ideas, everybody. Again, Jack Warner's my guest here. Um, the former for Mr. Electric came through the house, did a bunch of work for us. And you guys were here for two full days and yep. it was a big job. I mean, but I was so impressed with, with uh, your crew. Do you, do you remember some of the guys that we could, we could say their names who worked on this project? Yep. So uh, a young, a young guy, me and Ben showed up the first day. Uh, ben had his, had uh, some health issues. So he, he kind of stepped away from the company for a little bit. But uh, Jason, uh, Wakeley, and I showed up early the, that the following day to do your service. And then we had uh, Landon and Earl. So we had those guys kind of take over. Uh, I, I, I was there to, to help them through and show them everything that had to go yep. on. And they kind of took it over. And, yep. and perhaps uh, Jason Wakeley, he's one of my top guys. So You could tell. Um, Jason's, Jason did great. Landon did all three of those guys, Ben did a good job too. Very, very personable young man. I mean, these guys are all, you know, young guys and uh, they're very happy to be doing this work. But Earl, the guy was cool as heck. And he was just like, he was so happy to show me my new lights in the studio. And I'll tell you what, it was a mess for them to put these lights in because they had to get up into the ceiling. They had to fish through it. It's got blown insulation. It's a pain in the butt. And when they left, I'll tell you, Jack, I don't even think I've told you this. Maybe during break I said something, but they it was spotless. I mean, spotless. So that goes back to your customer service, right? That's right, and that's good. That's that's what we want. We want uh, we want a happy customer. You know, you you got a lot of stuff up in that room and a lot of money wrapped up in that room. So we wanted to make sure that we cover it up and, and, and protect it. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. You know, it's very important to uh, – maintain the integrity of people's homes. And it doesn't matter if it's a, a $50,000 home or, or a nope. $5 million home. It, it's everybody rates the same. That's the thing I like about your menu pricing, Jack, we're going to, um we're going to come up on the close of the show here real quick. Believe it or not, it's been really a fun episode with you. I would like a takeaway from you for Mr. Electric things that you'd like to leave with the show. People let people know what's your, what's your one or two big takeaways you'd like. You got a couple minutes to talk, please go right ahead. Two big things we talked about. Customer service, number one, hands down. That's what we want. Safety, safety, safety. We'll do that home safety inspection. Go through your house. No pressure. Uh, I'm not a salesman. I'm not a used car salesman. I'm just we're just gonna let you know what your house is doing and what it needs. You know, and if 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 you want a company who cares, people that actually care and gonna ask you questions and, and give you what you need and tell you what, you know, 
um, what your house needs and, 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 and get it fixed for you. It, if you want a company that gives you value, I think we, we, we go out of our way to tell, add value. Um, I like to say we're the Ferrari of electrical. You know, you you can buy a, a a pento and a maintenance guy that to do whatever you want to do, but you know we got to add the value if we're going to be a Ferrari. So we go out of our way to take care of our customers. If if you want that home safety inspection, and if you want somebody that cares that will take care of your house, no matter if it's a trailer or a, a million dollar house, it doesn't matter. It's still your house. We're going to take care of you. And if you want that, we want you as a customer. Give us a phone number one more time and a website, and then we're going to wrap. All right. Uh, Mr. www.mrelectric.com, phone number 888-317-4458. Nice job, Jack. You know, now, now you're a radio pro. What do you think about that? Thank you very much for having me on. My pleasure. I hope we can do more things with you guys, and it was a pleasure having all the work done at the house. I really really do appreciate everything you guys did if our show fits your business group's mission we want to be of service to you through everything that we do here sponsorships are available they're limited but they're they're available always remember before you can share love with others you must love yourself first i want to thank jack warner for being with me sandy craig brock jamie 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 we'll talk to everybody next weekend everybody have a great week go out and ignite your life remember the tom Matt show is a production of boomers rock media we want to bring your story to life And lastly, I want to say thank you to our producer extraordinaire, Mitch Anderson. We're out. The Tom Matt Show is produced by Mitch Anderson of Black Circle Studios. Original music from the source of light and power by the Ark of All.